Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how I made this really cute buffalo check fabric covered pumpkin with some inexpensive supplies. I use these plastic trick-or-treat pumpkins from Walmart. They were less than a dollar a piece. Um, and I did remove the black handle from this pumpkin. I used white spray paint. I did that so that I wouldn't see that orange through my fabric. I have this buffalo check fabric here. Got some Mod Podge, which I didn't really end up using. The duct tape, which I'll just use to cover the top of my pumpkin. Um, I did want to weight in the pumpkins because they're so lightweight, so I just put some brand new kitty litter into a Ziploc bag that I could then put into the pumpkin just to weight it down. Um, I made a few I made a few bags of these so that I could put one in each of my pumpkins. And then I have some paper because I do want to fill it up, so I just used some paper to fill it up, and then I covered the top of my pumpkin with this duct tape. I do want to take just a second to thank you for stopping by my channel today. If you haven't watched my channel before, I make a lot of DIY videos, both for home decor, party decorations, holiday decorations, and I do like to do a lot of DIY jewelry as well. So if you like any of that kind of stuff, please uh, take a second and tap subscribe. Tap the bell button if you want to get notifications of new videos. And if you find anything helpful today as you watch this, please take a second to tap that like button as well. So I've got my duct tape all along the top of the pumpkin and I'm just pressing it in so it'll be really nice and pressed down tight before I start to spray paint these pumpkins. Now you don't have to spray paint the pumpkins, but I do like to do that because I don't like it when that orange shines through my fabric. Um, so if you if you do wanna make sure that it's not going to show through, I recommend that you do a light coat of paint. I don't know if you can notice it here, it's not perfect. You can still see a little bit of orange, but I think I got just enough on here so that it'll look great when I cover it. All right, now I'm gonna take this pumpkin that I painted and uh, it's covered with duct tape and I'm gonna wrap this buffalo checked fabric up around it. Now this is a 24 inch by 24 inch uh, piece of fabric and I wanna have a little hole that I can tuck this fabric in around the top. So I just grabbed a K-cup. You could, you could just freehand this, um, but instead I just decided to, just to help me get my circle about the right size then I would take a K cup and just trace around that and then get my hole poked through this duct tape. And then using a knife, just cut down. This is kind of tough because, oh shoot, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of duct tape. Once, I, once you get it cut through, then you can switch to scissors and then just trace along that line that you made as you trace around the k-cup now you just don't want this to be too big i'd err on the side of too small what what's happening as i'm cutting this is i'm picking up the plastic because remember i stuffed this with stuff and so as i'm trying to cut it it's also cutting that um that's probably that's probably good i might come a little bit more this way now this is uh, going to be where our stem is going to cut it, come out. So you kind of want it to be in the center as much as possible. Um, I think that turned out pretty good. All right, so we've got our hole cut. We're gonna get our pumpkin put right in the middle here. And we're just gonna pick up one corner. Actually, I'm gonna start from the middle. My middles are a little uh, tight. That's why I decided to start from the middle. I'm just pulling this up here and then I want to get kind of a fold so I'm folding this fabric a little so you can kind of see a little bit of a fold there I'm doing the same thing here just bringing in a little bit of a fold as I move the fabric up and around I might hold that tight And you just keep working your way around the pumpkin, 
folding and tucking and folding and tucking and sometimes you might have to unfold and refold until you really get that pumpkin looking great with nice folds, tight fabric tucked into the center. Then it was time to work on the stem. I decided to use cinnamon sticks for my stem and just kind of started tucking them into the center to see how many I needed so that they would fit pretty tight. And it turns out I needed about five cinnamon sticks. So I just used a glue gun to glue these cinnamon sticks together. Um, you'll want to make sure that you're really careful if you're using a hot glue gun. Um, I could have used, you know, E6000. Um, I think it probably would have worked just as well, but I was in a hurry and I know the glue just dries so quickly. So I just got glue on each of these cinnamon sticks until I got them all together. And then once they were together, I put them into the middle of my pumpkin. I think the cinnamon sticks are such a great solution for the faux stem when you're working on pumpkins like this. And you can cut those down a little shorter if you want a shorter stem. So that's it, that's my fabric covered pumpkin. And I think it turned out really cute. Be sure to watch my other video where I take these pumpkins and cover them with burlap and they look so cute right alongside these buffalo check pumpkins. Thanks a lot.